Hello, uh, today I want to talk uh, something about uh, waves are uh, not uh, exactly complex concepts, but uh, simple concepts. I have uh, generally found that uh, students uh, feel uh, it very difficult to uh, know about the movement of particles during wave motion, uh, both in case of uh, uh, progressive as well as the uh, stationary waves. So, uh, <coughs> so uh, in this lecture or in this uh, a lesson I would like to focus mainly on the movement of particles during uh, during the formation of a stationary wave. So, my topic today will be so movement of movement of of particles movement of particles uh, in a in a stationary wave in a stationary wave. A stationary wave is generally understood uh, when you look at animations. So, when I draw a certain wave, uh, it is in fact slightly difficult to understand. But still, let us try here. Let me uh, let me have a stationary wave. A stationary wave would generally look like this. You can see, you can see this, you can see this, somewhat like this. And uh, what it uh, do is you know these points as node, this is a node, this also a node, this also a node, this region is anti node, anti node and anti node. The particles here are vibrating with the highest amplitude, highest amplitude, highest amplitude, highest amplitude and the particles here will have less amplitude. And one thing that you have to know is that. <coughs> When the particles here are like this, in this region the particles at that time are like this and at the mean time the particles here will be somewhat like this. And when the particle come here, when the particle descend here, descend here, they come here, these particles will have gone here, will have gone here and then the particles here will again have gone here. So, it is a different thing uh, in, in uh, a stationary wave compared to the progressive wave. In a progressive wave, what happens is you feel like like uh, the waves are going this side or this side, but here you, you don't you don't feel like that. So what you feel here is you feel as if it's a loop, it's a loop, it's a loop, and you feel it's a fixed point. They are staying like there. But what actually happens is that when the particles here are like this, they'll be like this, and the particles are like this. When it is like this, when this particle reach there, these particles reach there and these particles reach there. Now, with that phenomenon, several things uh, come uh, to our minds. So, one of the minds is that, one of the things is that when the particle here, when the particle here is at this point, this point, it is at its uh, highest amplitude, it is at its highest amplitude. In a similar way, the particle next to, next to it, this thing, this thing is also at its own high magnitude, at its own high amplitude. Its amplitude might not be as high as this, but it is at its own highest uh, own highest amplitude. If I use the this line to represent the midpoint, midpoint. Similarly, this particle will also be at its highest amplitude. This particle will also be at highest, highest, highest and so on. Similarly, these particles are also at their highest amplitudes and these particles are also at their highest amplitudes. Similarly, all these particles are at their highest amplitudes though their own amplitudes may be different, may be different. So now, let uh, right now the part is like this. So, this is the midpoint here. This is the midpoint. Right now the wave is like this. Wave is somewhat like this. After some time, after some time the particle here, this wave, the particle here reaches here. This reaches here. So, the wave will be somewhat like this. This portion of wave will be somewhat, somewhat like this. Now, what about this? The wave here will be somewhat like this they will be somewhat like this slightly raised than previous and the wave here will be somewhat like this somewhat somewhat like this. <laughs> Again after some time this wave will be somewhat like this it will be somewhat like this 
and then somewhat like this. So as it goes on, there comes a condition in which the wave will be somewhat like this. So at that time, it is not even like a wave, it's a straight line. Then, because of its inertia, it will be driven to this side. It will be somewhat like this and somewhat like this and somewhat like this and so on. As it goes on, it reaches here at the highest amplitude, it reaches here at the highest amplitude and it reaches here which is the highest amplitude. So this is how the particles move. Then the particles again go back here, it goes and on, these also go on and on, go in and on, on and on, on and on and so on. Only the particles here do not move. So that means what we now have is the particles of this region, the particles of this region are all performing same type of movement at a particular instant. They are all performing same type of movement at a certain instant. That means if it is at the highest point, it is also at its highest point. If it is in the middle, it is also in the middle. If it is at the lowest point, it is also at the lowest point. So all the particles here are at the same state. So that is why they are said to be in the same phase. The particles here, the particles, all the particles of this region are said to be of same phase. That means the phase difference is zero. That means phase difference, phase difference is equal to zero. Now as we have stated here, when the particles are like this, the particles here will be somewhat like this. So they are just opposite. So when they are at the top, they are at the bottom of their motion. When they are in the middle, they are in the middle. But when they are coming like this, they are going like this. When they are at the bottom, they are at the top. So that is why the particles here are opposite to the particles here in every aspect. So that is why all these particles, all these particles of this loop will be of opposite phase compared to this. So they are of same phase, they are of same phase compared to each other, but all of them are of opposite phase compared to these things. So what we have here is, if I name several particles here, A, B, C, uh, say D, E, F. So what we have here is, A, B, C are in same phase, are in same phase. So that is, that is phase difference equal to, phase difference equal to 0. But A, B, C and D, E, F are in opposite phase, opposite phase. That means, that means the phase difference, that means phase difference, phase difference will be equal to will be equal to not 0 actually it is pi because 180 degree out of phase. So A and F phase difference 180 degree or pi, A and D same, A and E same. In a similar way C and D phase difference pi, C and E phase difference pi, C and F phase difference pi. Again A and B or A and C phase difference 0, D and E <coughs> or D and F or even E and F, the phase difference is again 0. So this is what something strange about the stationary wave. So it's a different thing than the progressive wave and that's what we need to take care.